There are new developments this morning in the case for a missing woman in the district. More than three weeks have passed since the family of 25-year-old China Crawford have seen or heard from her. Now D.C. police have updated her disappearance to a major crimes case. This morning, a big update in the case of a D.C. woman who's been missing for months. D.C. police have arrested and charged a woman in connection with the disappearance of China Crawford. According to the Daily Voice, an arrest has been made in the connection to the disappearance of China Crawford who has been missing since last October, according to the Metropolitan Police Department. Southeast resident LaShawn Washington, age 32, has been charged with murder, kidnapping, and obstruction of justice, authorities announced on Wednesday morning. The search for China Crawford continues. I've been following this story, and I think there's a lot more that's not being said. For instance, this is what I found on the mother's Instagram page. Check this out. Now, mind you, China Crawford went missing in October 2023. Someone posted on the mother's Facebook, I'm sorry, someone posted on the mother's Instagram page on October 27. Did she owe anybody any money? Did she take something from somebody? The police need to know all details of every part of her life. It just seems like she, it just seems like this was planned out of revenge of what somebody did. That was the question asked. I'm wondering, and I'm wondering, was this LaShawn the whole time taunting China's mother, or was this someone who knows more of what was happening in the background than what has been told to the media? For example, there were two additional messages left on the mother's Instagram page, both concerning somebody named Will Roy. The first message reads, Will Roy, you're going down. And then the second message um, reads, the second message reads, I hope they lock Will Roy ass up for accessory after the fact. So now my question is, who is Will Roy? Are we going to find that out soon? Um, I think it took a little bit too long to release uh, LaShawn Washington's uh, pictures because it took me a little minute to find some of her pictures after they announced her arrest. Um, they have said that, and they have mentioned that there will be others charged. And I wonder if Will Roy is going to be one of those other people that's going to be charged. We're going to keep an eye out for that. So far, I haven't been able to find any pictures on somebody named Real, uh, Will Roy, but I'm going to continue the search and see what I come up with. So we're just going to keep an eye out for that. I really want to know what happened, what transpired, what they're saying that it was a robbery. Uh, it was an attempted robbery, a kidnapping, and then an unaliving. However, like I mentioned earlier, when someone made the folks, um, however, like I mentioned earlier, when someone left the message asking, did she owe anybody money? What did that mean? What did they know? And I went to that first that and I went to that person's um, Instagram page. Of course, it's private. They don't have any pictures and they didn't have too many followers. So that's when I thought maybe that was LaShawn Washington trolling the mother, maybe trying to throw the police off, throw the mother off from what she knew to be true, or maybe it was someone else indeed who just have more information on the story. I think all of that is going to come out probably more than likely during the trial. But let's just keep our thoughts and prayers for this family. I think it's tragic when any mother loses their child. Um, this is so sad. And this is in my hometown. So I most definitely would keep my eye out um, and my ears to the street to figure out what I can um, pick up. And then I'll come back and let you guys know. But before I do go, I did have one more question. Somebody also left uh, um, a message. Like I've been all over the mother's Instagram, social media, trying to figure out everything I can find. Like I said, I've been all up and down the mother's social media. And someone had left a message early on in November. Now, as of the date of this, and this is March um, 2024, still at the end of March, they're saying that they still have not found China Crawford's body. Um, and I believe they're still looking for her car. However, when she went missing in October, mind you, someone did leave a message on the mother's Instagram in November, November 1. And they had stated that the news said that a body was found behind a trash 
on Fairmont Street, Southeast DC, and the body has not been identified yet. I think that if that was her body, they may have came out and said something, but they have not. Um, but they also have not come out and said that it wasn't her body. So is there more, again, like I'm saying, that's going on behind the scenes than what the police are really letting the general public know? Because let's feel like people are, you know, kind of talking in cold in a little bit when you watch the news reports. But I'm going to play this um, snippet real quick where they talk about discovering the body. Um, and then we'll just hop back on really fast. So this is the news clip here. Following some breaking news this afternoon in the district, a gruesome discovery was made in the Randall Highlands neighborhood of Southeast. A woman's body was found in a trash can. Police say the discovery was made along 27th Street. News 4's Paul Wagner is live on the scene tonight. Paul, what can you tell us? Well, Sean, this building behind me, 1616 27th Street Southeast, is where the body was found earlier today, sometime after noon. In fact, two homicide detectives just arrived here on the scene, uh, basically uh, several hours after the discovery. They're continuing to work this scene, going door to door, knocking on doors, trying to talk to people to see what they may have seen in the uh, hours or days leading up to this trash can being found here. Here's what else we know. The property manager who declined to go on camera tells News 4 a worker cleaning up behind the building opened a trash can and discovered the body of the woman. She says the can did not belong to the property, and she said all of her tenants have been accounted for. D.C. police treated the block like a crime scene and kept everyone back. Investigators with the medical examiner's office spent quite a bit of time in the alley before removing the body. A law enforcement source tells News 4 there was no apparent trauma to the body, but detectives wouldn't know exactly what they're dealing with until the body can be taken from the trash can. Yeah, that so was the news this clip um, that you just watched. But like I said, they have not confirmed whether that was uh, China Crawford's body or not. But I am curious that someone made that connection early on in this investigation. Um like I said, we just want to keep the family in our thoughts and prayers for the time being. They do have a GoFundMe up. I will share that link in the description. Um, please donate if your heart calls you to do. And just be careful out there. Be careful who you call friends. Be careful who you're hanging out with. Just be careful because everybody is not your friend. Um, and everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. So let's just keep watching this story as it unfolds. If you have any information on this story, please feel free to reach out to the Washington, D.C. Police Department. Leave um, and let them know whatever information that you have. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.